Alrighty then, hello and good evening YouTube. Welcome back once again to NASCAR Thunder 2004. The season is almost fucking over. And of course, the champion has been crowned a race early. Because Dale Jr. got, got a bunch of blown engines at the start of the season and fucked him over basically. So, there's only one thing I can choose, so just get that. So it's a car rating of 70, which is okay. But this is actually a really difficult track in this game for some reason, so... Who knows if we'll actually do good. I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. That's my guess. That's my prediction. Hopefully the setup saved from last time because I'm pretty sure we have a master setup right now. Just taking out the half round of wedge makes this a master setup, by the way. Because the car is just that fast. It's super speedy here. Which is good. I like being super speedy. I bet you we won't get the pole, though. So, who cares, honestly. Yep, let's just take up the entire racing surface there. Perfect. That's how you do it right there. That's how you do it. 34th. Hell yeah. That's what, I, that's what I call a great, great qualifying effort. This is our last race with Napa, so we gotta make, them, we gotta make the uh, Napa know-how guys proud. So, I mean, I think it's our last race with Napa. Who knows if they'll want to re-sign. Yeah, I'm not going to do good in this lap. Great. Well, that was a good effort, I guess. That's a solid lap. Not the fastest, but it'll work. That's not sponsor money. Fuck. Newman on the pole. I mean, I still feel sorry for him here. How I screwed him over at Phoenix. And, well, not Phoenix, but Rockingham for sure. Wait, what? Oh, that was practice time. Sorry. I thought Newman was on the pole. My bad. My bad. That's what you get when you walk out of the room for two fucking minutes and suddenly get practice times instead of actual race times, you know? Wow, contact. Okay. Okay, that is con that's contact. Right there. Yeah, I don't really have much confidence in this race. We might see the weird thing. Hey, there's that. There's always a chance we could see the thing where they killed themselves off of pit road. Maybe we'll see that this year. Hey. I swear it happens. It, it, it prevented me from getting a lot of guys that I wanted wins when I was playing this casually. Because this is a pretty easy track to get people wins at. Because it's super wide. And I'm slower. Well, that's, I thought that was Kyle Petty. That had the colors of a Kyle Petty car, but it's actually Tony. It's an interesting paint scheme, too. Fairly patriotic, if I do say so myself. Bill Elliott just won't leave me alone today. I wonder if he's still... Oh, God. Still salty about not winning this race in 2003. That's a nice wall. That's a nice slow. That's a nice not-sponsor objective. That's a nice rival. Fun. Oh my god, Nadine, you stupid bitch. See? Yep, and I'm faster than you through the corner, so now you're just slowing me up. Yep, shocking. I made a terrible decision when I was on the outside of Bill Elliott, because I thought, like, the outside lane would actually work at this track, because it's, like, progressive banking and shit. But then I remembered it's an EA NASCAR game, and the outside lane equals death, so never mind. It was a poor case of judgment on my end, basically. See, like, we should be getting a huge speed boost from this, but we're only losing spots from it, so that's nice. And speaking of uh, Steve Park, who's right behind us, I think we would have gotten UA money a lot of the time if I'd actually taken that. I would really wish that the UA could have replaced Napa with that objective of finishing ahead of Steve Park. That would have been a good objective to replace with the qualifying one. Because it's always a qualifying objective. I, I don't think, like, the associate sponsor can give you some different goals than, than you'd, you'd normally imagine. 
but like the primary always wants you to finish well and your associate I mean your uh, rear end always wants you to fucking get good qualifying yep yeah, it's a bunch of shits what it is really that's really what it is it's just a pile of shit but heck what you gonna do So I've got no pace, so I, that gave me a lot of confidence going into the next season. I thought I was going to win the championship next year. Someone asked if I'm going to go all 20 seasons in career mode, and I'm starting to think that it might just take that long to get the first championship as it is anyway, so maybe I will. Maybe I fucking will. You never know. Yep. Because it was on my inside, I couldn't do anything about it. Fucking bitch. Pit early so that the caution comes out. Come on now. You know you want to. I swear they took out the half round of wedge again. After qualifying. It feels like that happens whenever I actually look at the car setup before going to qualifying. That appears to be when that happens, that the car starts to drive like shit in the actual race. All right, or I'm just going to get passed on the outside. That's also an option. Yep. It's really easy to tell when I hit someone in this playthrough because the controller gets louder than me, which is saying a lot. Well, I've still really got no pace, and I'm still outside of Robbie Gordon's draft, so it's basically the worst of both worlds right here. Oh, people are pitting. All right. Let's start the shit show. One of them's Kenseth, actually. I love it when they go to my inside and I'm waiting for them to dive on my shit, but they're actually just going to pit road. That's that's my favorite. I'm still not in Gordon's draft. Game. Game, can you throw me something? Thank you. That was something. It was very minimal, but it was something for a moment. I'm still not within his draft. Are you shitting me? Well, I guess we just have to hope that the caution comes out. Death on pit road here. There. God almighty, finally in the draft. Alright. This is the lap where it'll happen if it's gonna happen. Pit road death needs to happen here, otherwise I'm running out of gas. I feel like I'm already running. Well, no. I just, I'm running a full second off of my best lap time, so I'm giving up so much time by not pitting right now. And it doesn't look like they're going to be killing each other off of pit road here, so we basically wasted this race. Fuck it, let's take two. I don't care. I'm done caring. We've got enough pace. I can keep up. Two tires, bitch. Coming down. Well, I'm gonna have to take two tires anyway. Never mind. Well, so fucking much for that. Awesome! That's super awesome! I love when this happens. You know, I don't even need this fucking shit. Having the pit crew that I have is a penalty fucking enough, bitch game. Fucking asshole piece of shit. Yeah, it, there he goes taking out the wedge. Are you shitting me, game? Wow, I was right. It is whenever you go into a car setup. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Wow, it was a 15-5. That was still a better pit stop than if I'd actually taken four. Nifty. And I've lost all these spots as a result. And I'm gonna wreck. Wow. Cool. I lost all these spots anyway, and I'm gonna have terrible tires. Fun. So, I'm not going to get the qualifying objective or the finishing objective, and I still have to go nine fucking laps on these worn fucking tires. Joy. That just bring, that just fills me with so much fucking joy. Yep. That's the kind of pace we got right there. That right there is the pace that we got. And they didn't die off of pit road either. It must have just been an isolated fucking incident. This thing that happened once. Once in a playthrough years ago. Becomes an expect fucking tation. 
and it fucks you over. It may be season two, but hearken back to season one, where the objective of passing Kyle Petty seemed impossible. Welcome back to, welcome back to season one. Welcome back to uh, the season finale for season one, 2003. Still can't pass Kyle Petty. Oh, he said Winston Cup. The announcer said Winston Cup. I knew that was a thing, but I forgot about it until now. Wow. That's a lot more interesting than this entire race has been. Anyway, it's the final lap of season two, mercifully. Fucking mercifully, it's almost over. Can I survive? Doesn't look like it. No. Nope. It's the cars. Could you fucking go forward, per chance? No? Alrighty then. Looks like we're getting last. Cool. That's cool. I'm 100% fucking okay with that. What a, what a fun season that was. What a fucking analogy. It's just that no matter what I tried, no matter what I did, in the end, it was all completely pointless. What a fun moral lesson with NASCAR Thunder 2004. So, technically Dale Jarrett won that race. And the game's gonna give it to Dale Jarrett, so that's good at least. That's the championship over. We are going to finish 15th in the points. So it's better than last year. But yeah, so there's your champion. 33 top 10s? 33 top 10s? 33 top 10s! How'd Dale Jr. do? 30. And those three blown engines probably would have been three more. That's, that's just... Oh my fucking god, dude. That's unreal. Well, uh, that's another season done. So, let's see. Not worth it. Plug that in. That should be the last time I'll have to repair that, because I'll probably sell it after this next race. Not worth it. Just repair it. And bodies. There's one race left on the bodies. This one is a 69-68, and this is 69-69. So obviously this this one's staying. Wait, that's a 70-69. What happened to the 76? I fired the guy that made that made it a 76. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So that was wow. I spent money on a 76-69, and I'm gonna get a six a a fucking 70-69. That's hot. That's pretty fucking hot if you ask me. Awesome. Glad I know that now. I thought whenever you start something, it's impossible to change it. I guess I'll go fuck myself then. Ooh, Aaron's. A. Aaron's. A. Aaron's. Uh, so it's finished fifth. Average start in fifth. And finish ahead of Ricky Rudd. That is literally an endgame fucking sponsor. So, average finish in tenth. Average finish in fifth. Ah, uh, no. We're doing MBNA, bitch. MBNA. Hell yeah. We're probably gonna do MBNA again. <laughs> I kind of want the Goodyear Blimp. The Goodyear Blimp's my favorite sponsor in the game. Qualifying 10th. Average start in 10th. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is... I'm not gonna do it ever, but we'll buy it anyway. I might be able to get it at, like, fucking Rockingham or something. What happened to all my old sponsors? Fuck me. Rank fifth in earnings. Well, I will if I get all these sponsor objectives. Finish ahead of Dale Jarrett. Damn. Rank tenth in earnings. I definitely can do that, but it's such a far cry. I can probably beat Dale Jarrett in most races. I just want the Goodyear blimp on the side of my car. Okay, never mind. So much for that. Participate in the race. That one gives me the most, so Outback Steakhouse is on the car. Aaron's Rent, huh? That's the most expensive one, so let's fucking get it. Well, I don't know what happened to all my old sponsors, but they'll probably be back once these guys quit, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have these for long. So, fuck it, I guess. I guess today's, the moral of the story is fuck it, so waste management's gone after 63 races, dude. 63 races with waste management, and to think, I didn't even think they'd make it through the original run, but they turned out to be one of my most loyal sponsors and someone that I'm proud to represent over the course of my shitty career. So you all know what time it is. It's time for musical chairs.
Let's find out who we're going to have retire and who we're going to have replace them. The excitement begins. Alright. Here we fucking go. Turn off autosave. Let's see what we get. So we have Kevin LePage being replaced by Ashton Lewis and Ken Schrader being replaced by Kevin Grubb. That's, not gonna lie, pretty terrible. Not gonna get that, that's for sure. Bill Elliott replaced by no one, Ken Schrader replaced by Ashton Lewis, and Kevin LePage replaced by no one. That's kind of a good one because I just want to get Kevin LePage out of the game because his car is hideous. But we're not gonna keep it. Kevin LePage replaced by Ashton Lewis, and Bill Elliott replaced by Kevin Grubb. This is almost one that I would accept. That's almost one that I would accept, game. You're getting closer. Oh, damn. Kevin Grubb, Ashton Lewis, and Chase Montgomery. Hmm. Not gonna keep it. <laughs> wow, that's literally the opposite of what I want. Incredible. Okay, this is acceptable. Bill Elliott replaced by Ashton Lewis, Ken Schrader replaced by no one, and Kevin LePage replaced by no one, so... No, I want to see the driver info, so Ken Schrader, after his miraculous 2003 season with four fucking top tens. He has no top tens this year, and it all falls apart, man. Ken Schrader, we're gonna miss you. Kevin LePage, we're not gonna miss. Yeah, he had one top ten last year. But Bill Elliott, on the other hand, he had a good career. He had a decent season last year. He got 16th in the standings. I beat him in the standings, Jesus. No wonder he wants to retire. 57 poles. Fuck me. But yeah, so he kind of goes out. He kind of fizzles out. He didn't really do much, but hey, what you gonna do? It's a new season. Don't replace any that, and let's save the game. And there you have it. Well, there you go. That's another season down for NASCAR Thunder 2004. Welcome to 2005. And there's something very interesting about 2005 when it comes to Martin Truex Jr., because there was a certain car that he started driving that year. And that, well... Whoa! The paint scheme is so good that it changed the background. Wow. Yep, so there's this rookie car in 2005. Not technically his rookie car since his rookie season was what, 2006, right? But this is a, well, this is one of the first cars that he drove in the Cup Series. I can't get the tint correctly because the brightness meter in the whatchamacallit is being weird and it's actually got like camo and shit on the side, which is not an actual thing you can put in the game, surprisingly. But the next race will begin season number three with the shootout. But until then, this has been Comic Cons Games playing some more NASCAR Thunder 2004. Can we win the championship next season? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, fuck no. But we'll give it an effort at least. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next part. Bye! Top 10 things that are effective. Number 10. Squares. Number to nine. Two squares. Now where are we? Alright, I guess we'll never find out. There's one of these in every game, isn't there? Oh, oh. Game. When you're the one that needs to take control and make sure that something works. You know, this game is trying to trying to tell me something, and that is that it doesn't want to be played. I think the game is sick of being played and it just wants to not be played. <laughs>